press conference of the day, the 200 meters men press conference. We have our gold medalist with us, Ramil Gulia from Turkey. Uh, we have Wade Van Kirk from South Africa, our silver medalist, and our bronze medalist, Jereen Richards from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, I'm going to open the floor to questions. Please use the mics. Can you raise your hands and we will pass the mics out. There's a gentleman just back there. Hi, question for Wade. Um, congratulations tonight. I, I wonder if you've got a message for Michael Johnson after your success. <laughs> I wouldn't say a message, but obviously I've got massive respect for for the, the, the great things that he's done for, for the sports. And obviously the double, it's not an easy, a easy uh, challenge, but um, I think it was successful. I was referring more to what he'd said on the BBC about the, the last round with McQuala and the IAAF in reference to what did your, he say? The, the conspiracy theories you, you talked about on your BBC interview tonight. Oh, I guess that's unlucky for him then. <laughs> okay, another question please, this gentleman here. Thank you. Wait. How have you dealt with the pressure of filling Usain Bolt's shoes as, quote, the next face of track and field, of filling Michael Johnson's shoes and with the double, and then having to run against some really fast guys? How have you dealt with that? <laughs> no, I mean, I'll, I'd never try and fill up uh, Usain Bolt's shoes, or neither Michael's. I, um, I mean, I think I've, I've shown enough dominance, I've shown enough uh, hard work, and and I've shown enough performances to start building my own uh, image, my own brand. Uh, I've got the utmost respect for you, Zay. Uh, he's one of the guys that I've been watching the last few years and, and gained inspiration from the last few years. And also, uh, I've got to know him quite well as well. And um, I thank him for, for the great things that he's done for the sports. And I think this week is uh, the perfect time for us to, to honor him and on, on my competition, obviously. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be easy, uh, uh, but I gave it my all. I thank the guys for the opportunity and uh, the great experience. And uh, it, it's, it's definitely been a, a massive, a massive evening for, for myself in South Africa. And uh, I thank everyone that was, was uh, that had positive uh, or helped create a positive environment around what I've achieved and and what I've done. And um, it's it's really been a massive privilege to represent my country, my family, and friends. Hamil, well, congratulations. Can you tell us about your race and what was going through your head during the race and what you felt after the race? Um, this race, it's my uh, dream and uh, make a world and uh, make medal from uh, world championship. And uh, when I come in, when I go to finish line, and uh, I first had to look at screen and uh, which I come in first and second and third. But I uh, I know I come in first three, but I don't know which one. <laughs> when it's coming my name first, I say yes, I do it. <laughs> and uh, it's my big dream. And next uh, it's Olympic Games. I hope so. It's possible for me. And uh, yeah. First on, ma ma mother talk, then English, I ask. Ramil, e, Bursa'daki toplantı şeyde, Süper Lig yarışmasında 1972'den bahsetmiştin. Artık dünya şampiyonusun bir sonraki hedefi. Acaba 1972 mi? I'm asking to Ramil say to me in Turkey Super League competition in Bursa the last month. He will be try to appear to many as unbreaking uh, European record 1972. Uh, is, uh, he is right now world champion. Next target is a this big record. Yeah. Uh, I know I can make it uh, because here it's so um, difficult because we compete in a three times and we need to show the best result in every heat. Uh, because here compete in, uh, in best of the world sportsmen and uh, 
and uh, I also in another competition I make uh, I try make the uh, European records and I hope so it's possible for me. Um, two questions for Wade. Um, what after last night's semi-finals? How difficult was it for you to to come out tonight and perform like you did? And secondly, um, doubles are you going to be trying them in the, in the future? Well, I think uh, my, my my toughest two days of, of the competition was definitely the 400 meter finals and uh, the semi-finals yesterday. Uh, being uh, or bearing with the, the conditions we had. It was quite freezing, so I had two days of freezing competition and uh, yesterday it got a bit of me. Didn't get much sleep because obviously I uh, had a, a massive high after the, the 400 meter finals and then had to try and uh, recover. And the same finals was, was very difficult, had to be deep. Uh, last night's rest was, was way better for myself. Uh, I wouldn't say I recovered 100%, but I recovered uh, quite well, um, well enough to compete against these great guys tonight. And the second question? Doubles. Um, doubles in going forward? Doubles in the, in, in the future, um, if I have to refer to the 400, I'd love to have that as an individual event, so I'd love to improve my, my world record again, and then the only doubles I think I would consider now is the 100s and 200. Right here, <coughs> Just follow on from that. So next year, no world championships, no Olympics. Um, if you're going to be kind of separating the 100 and the 2 <coughs> and the 4, um, do you think next year there's a chance that the 4 might be put on the back burner a bit? Yeah, I've been thinking of it. I'd love to uh, do a bit of 100 and 200 at Commonwealth next year. Uh, but obviously, then I have to do some 400s as well at the, at the Diamond Days and World Challenges and so on. But I think it's I think uh, we haven't really thought that far. Uh, we were focusing on the double this 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 week, and uh, I think after the season we'll sit back with coach and decide where where we're going to invest our time in. Okay. Just one to go back there. Uh, Wade, in your BBC interview, you alluded to a sort of lack of respect, and and, and people not necessarily appreciating what you've done. And, how can you allude on that a little bit more and elaborate a bit on that? And, and how much did the whole Makuala Ferrari that went on, did that affect you um, yesterday and today? Yeah, to be honest with you, uh, it really did upset me a bit, uh, especially uh, the amount of respect I've shown each and every uh, competitor I compete against, uh, including Makuala. I've always shown him massive respect and for him to come out there and, and, and I think mention my name among something fishy happening in the IWF, pointing me out as a, as a favorite, knowing how hard I've been working the last few years. I mean, if I was a overnight success, if this was my first gold medal, I could have accepted a statement like that. But I mean, I've been, I've been putting out great performances the last two years now, and including this competition's double, I think. Uh, I definitely des deserve way more respect from, from my competitors. And, uh, but on that, this is a competition. This is uh, an area where we want to be the best, we want to compete. And uh, we're not here to make friends, we're here to compete. And uh, I've learned a great lesson now. So I am definitely will be uh, taking the future with differently, uh, focusing on myself and, and not letting um, such negativity get to me again. Did it affect you? The second part of the question. How much did that? Um, I wouldn't say it affected me. I just expected more from 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 someone that I've been competing with for the last few years now. I mean, I gave him his dues when he wasn't ahead of me. I mean, he's broken my record. I've broken his record, and there's been continuous respect. So, uh, for him to come out with such a statement, I think it was a bit disappointing. Uh, the gentleman in the blue shirt directly behind me, please. Hello, question um, from Ramil. Um, Ramil, in the past there have been questions about Turkey. Um, I think four out of the nine Turkish finalists in London 2012 have subsequently doped. Uh, Paul Rackham said some comments on the weekend saying Turkey was one of the countries that people should look at. 
What do you say to those people that still don't trust Turkish athletes? I say it in Russian and translate it. Yeah. Well, every athlete is choosing their way, own way. And I think that no one will ever stop him to do something against his will, otherwise it's not a sport, but it's something unknown. No one is not pushing anyone to do the right way or the wrong way, so everybody is on their own way. Everybody is on their own way, so everybody is on their own way. И каждый человек отвечает за свои действия сам. And everybody is responsible for your own. Так что я думаю, что в этой ситуации это ну, сложно как-то э, дать какое-то определение, да? Because of that, I'm really it's hard for me to say something that. Uh, Вообще скажем, я не хочу на это. Uh, or whether to say something that uh, whether it's on that pay or the other way. That's all what I want to say. This question is for Jareen. Are you sure you didn't come in second? <laughs> Talk about the <laughs> I thought I came in second. Um, honestly, I was just glad to be among top three. Um, I looked across and I knew it was really close. I'm, I, I knew that I didn't win, but I knew it was really close. I was like, I was hoping for a silver medal, but just to be a fresh name on, on, on track and field and to be someone to get a medal here is really a great achievement. I mean, God bless me richly and I'm really thankful for that. Uh, <coughs> For uh, for Wade, can you talk about a little bit about what your success has meant for sports South Africa and what, what's going on in the track world that has led to this resurgence? Well, I I, I definitely feel that um, I, I, I might I might have contributed in a way in, in inspiring so much um, track and field um, athletes in South Africa. Uh, I just wish they can they can be a bit more patient. And, and, and respect the process as well uh, and, and realize that it's, it's not a process that's a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. You need to take it step by step and uh, learn from, from, from your experiences and, 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 and take it from there. I think the youngsters that's coming through now, I think they, they, they get it a bit more easier than what we had. Uh, we had to fight for where we need to and now they've got a bit of a, a loophole to try and, and, and perform amongst the world's best and I think they need to appreciate the position that now and I think we stand a good chance to pro, uh, produce many more uh, world champions and, 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 and check and feel great. Okay. Questions here, please. Uh, question for Wade. Um, obviously you Bolt decided not to do the 200 this year. Just wondering, is it something that maybe you you wished you got a chance to race in the big championships before you retired? Are you no. disappointed that you didn't maybe decide to do the double? I wouldn't say disappointed. I mean, uh, it, it wasn't my time. Uh, this is my time now. This is my generation now. And this is, I still have some great competitors. I mean, I barely made it to second place. Uh, the guys are, are putting out a massive show. I've got utmost respect for the current guys that I have now that I'm competing in now and uh, they just made me realize that it's, it's not going to be a walk in the park the next few years. I have to work to get myself to the gold medal. I have to work uh, to, to maintain that silver medal and uh, I thank the guys yet again for the opportunity. Uh, gentlemen. <coughs> yes. My name is Ayo Dilo Dumadi, African Sports Monkey. My question is for Ramil Guliev. First of all, Ramil, congratulations on your great achievement. You are born and bred in Azerbaijan. Could you please shed some light on what made you switch allegiance to Turkey? Because I'm living now in Turkey and I compete in Turkey, that's all.
That's all? Yeah. So, Jareem, today when I interviewed Maurice Green, I asked him uh, to pick the medalist. He picked you for third. So what does he know about you that we don't know about you? Tell us a little bit about you. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm just honored to know that Maurice Green knows about me, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I I honestly wanted to go in here and win the race. It didn't it didn't turn out like that for me today. But I'm still thankful that I received the medal today and I gave it my all. And it was just a pleasure competing against some of the best athletes in the world. And just just this honor of this medal just made me even more hungry to to be on more podiums and to become world champion, Olympic champion. Okay. Other questions, the gentleman. Question to Jerry Richards. Uh, something about uh, I would like to know something about your uh, background. If uh, there are uh, relatives or parents who did uh, practice athletics in your family. Um, well, when, well, my background basically, um, my dad and my mom. My mom ran track a little bit, but not really that much. My dad played soccer or okay. football, and. Um, track and field was my only sport because I tried cricket, I wasn't good at it. Um, I tried football, I started to get good at football, but track and field I realized that I was fast and you know, I realized that individual sport was where, where um, I could actually make a career out of it. So track and field was my favorite sport. My mom and dad used to do it a little bit when I was young, when they were young, sorry. Have a question just back here. Just Wayne, I wanted to like to know about um, what you thought about the sale of the schedule here with the that heat of the 200 before the final of the 400. It's kind of weird. Did it change something for you? Did it make it the double more complicated? Uh, to be honest with you, I think if, if I had done the double before this, I could have compared and say yes or no. But um, seeing that it was my first, um, I had to accept my circumstances and, and pull through with it, and I think it's been a success. Question just in the middle here, please. Now, the final was a bit hard. I mean, I had to use good tools to win. I mean, I had to win the series. Şimdi her şey yaptık ki seride iyi bir kazanıp iyi bir kullar alalım. Ondan sonra da finalde her şey belli olur. Final, final, final daha zordu. Yani ilk başta yarı final daha zordu. Ama tabii finalde çok biraz baskı vardı her tarafla. Semi was harder for me because it was under the rain and I had to give my all. To have a good lane on the final, so that's why I gave my all on the semi final. Of course, both of them were hard for me, but uh, semi was hard, but uh, for, before the final, it was so stressful for me. So both was. Finalde baskı olduğu için biraz e, herkes de baskı var. Yani çok stresli geçiyor final. Yani herkes aynı performans olduğu için yani çok e, hayecanlı geçiyor. Ve kim daha böyle strese dayanıklık varsa o işte kazanıyor. Uh, it was, of course, everybody had the same stress. Uh, and who can fight the stress better? And who can do better on the track? Uh, was winning. So that was stressful for all of them, but that's all. Okay. One question at the very back. I think you qualified. Eighth fastest. Were you worried at any point in that race that you weren't going to make it? And then going into the final, what were you thinking about making sure that that didn't happen again? Was it tiredness from the 400? Yeah, I think, um, like I said earlier as well, I think my, my toughest challenge was definitely the 400 meter finals and the, the 200 meter semi finals. It was difficult, very, very difficult. I think quite deep. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought I didn't make it, and then 
as I got to the media, I realized that I made it, and uh, it immediately switched my mind to, to, to today. And um, I'm glad that I, I, I could dig deep for that focus and that motivation to do uh, or be competitive today. Uh, I could have easily lost it, but I'm glad that I stayed composed and, and believed in my abilities. Uh, question the gentleman in the t-shirt, Carol, just here. Uh, Hello, my question is for Mr. Gurief. In the past, you said when that you started running, when you started running in Azerbaijan, there were no good conditions. I would like to know how did you start running and why? Меня семья э, спортсмена. Моя мама и папа занимались легкой атлетикой, и с этим я пришел в легкой атлетику. My parents are former uh, athletes, so I came to the track also to follow their footsteps. И перед тем, как заниматься легкой атлетикой, я попробовал много видов спорта. Uh, of course, uh, before the track and field, I tried some other sports also. И когда мне отец сказал, пойдем попробуешь легкую атлетику, then my father said that let's go to try the track and field. И на следующий день, как я пришел, мне сказали, завтра будешь выступать на соревнованиях. And the next day they said that you are going to compete on the competition. Но я сказал, что я даже не знаю, как это делать и что надо делать. And I answered that I don't know how to do that, but I will try. Мне сказали, ты умеешь бегать? Я сказал, да. Ну, ты побежишь. Then they have asked me that, can you run? And I said yes. Then I have done. И я побежал и выиграл. Для меня это показалось очень забавно, интересно, легко, и как я начал. On my first run, which which I started to run, I won the race, and it was funny for me that on my first day I won. И после этого я начал как бы тренироваться, и у меня начало получаться. И как бы после этого я уже начал заниматься более Then, then, then afterwards, after that race, I started to do more often. Then I became an athlete. Okay. One final question, ladies and gentlemen. Here. Uh, my question is to Ramil again, and uh, Ramil, uh, you are a sub 10, 100 meter runner also, and in this championship you chose to run only 200 meters, and uh, I believe you have experience enough. Uh, after this championship and for the Olympic Games or after the big championships like this ones, are you going to do the sprint double? 100 and 200 meters together. На 100 метров у меня есть много, есть над чем работать. Я не имею таких достаточно высоких результатов, чтобы бороться за медали. I have to work on my 100 meters as much as possible, as much as because I am not very strong. My result is not very strong on the 100 meters because I have many rival athletes which is running faster than me on 100. А на 200 метров у меня есть все шансы как бы выиграть медаль, поэтому я сконцентрируюсь только на 200 метров. And as you can see that I have a chance, a good chance to win a medal on the 200 meters. That's why I am concentrating more often to the 200 meters on the big competitions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.